Okay, so today we're going to learn about Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is label your sides. So you have H, which stands for hypotenuse, A, which doesn't stand for anything, and B, which doesn't stand for anything. So then you label your hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So you, you label that. Then A and B, it doesn't really matter which one is A or B so I'm going to choose A to be there and B to be here so then all you have to do is sub in what you have so A equals 4 B equals 4 and H you want to find what H is so then you sub it in to this equation which is H squared equals a squared plus b squared so then all you have to do is sub in a and b so then this would give you h squared equals 16 plus 16 then h squared would equal 32 then h equals the square root of 32 so h equals the square root of 32 because you have the square of h here and a normal number here so to find h on its own not squared you have to square out the other side of the equation to get what h is so the first thing you're going to need to do is label your sides. So the side opposite your right angle is your hypotenuse and I'm just going to label the other two sides A and B because it doesn't really matter which one you do. So you have the side H and you have A so what you're going to do is sub in 4 and 5 in the places of H and A. So h squared equals a squared plus b squared so h equals 5 so 5 squared is equal to 4 squared plus b squared now to get b squared you minus the 4 on this side from the 5 so 5 squared minus 4 squared equals b squared so 5 squared is 25 minus 16 equals b squared. Now you square root both sides of the equation to get b. So b equals the square root of 25 minus 16. So b equals the square root of 9. Therefore b equals 3.